It was one of San Diego County's most famous houses even before the suicide of Rebecca Zahau there back in 2011. Now, the Spreckles Mansion in Coronado is for sale. And new at 510 reporter John Carroll shows us why one realtor says the events of 2011 will not affect its sale. The Spreckles Mansion of today bears little resemblance to how it looked when the tragic events of 2011 took place. The owners who bought it from Jonah Shacknai have spent several million dollars giving the mansion, built in 1901, a complete makeover. Starting with the plumbing, the electrical, check the foundation structural, took, took the old roof off and put a new roof on. The idea was to bring back the home's original glory. It was built in 1901 by John D. Spreckles. Spreckles had inherited a sugar empire from his father and then made millions more on his own. Kaylee Pinsano is the interior designer. She says the plan started out simple, then grew and grew. We were going to start it quite small and we were just going to do some paint and a little bit of remodeling of the bathrooms and it kind of snowballed each, you know, a few months later, let's do the kitchen. Okay, let's do the pool. The pool and adjoining jacuzzi are new. They're located in between the main house and the guest house where Jonah's brother Adam Shacknai was staying when he found Rebecca Zahau hanging from this balcony. You might think that Zahau incident and the fact little Max Shacknai died several days after falling off this staircase would be a negative when it comes to selling this place. Scott Oreck says not so. The people looking to buy this house think of it as what they can use it for and how it fits their needs and the location and the, the opportunity that's here because it's a one-of-a-kind asset. Other brand new touches, this kitchen with state-of-the-art everything. On the second floor, the master suite was completely redone from two bedrooms made into one with a huge master bath. And one more floor up, what used to be a storage attic has been transformed into a home theater along with a pool table. Of course, all of it comes with a hefty price, $16.9 million. But Scott Oreck says that's actually a bargain. The value of the land of the house is pretty close to what the value of the asking price is. On the last Friday of this month, the Coronado Historical Association will be opening the house up for tours. To find out how you can go, just go to our website, 10news.com, and click on the red TV button. In Coronado, John Carroll, 10 News. Yeah, that was beautiful.